and long-established manufacturer in the world of sports cars, well acquainted with the track, decides to venture into the realm of environmentally friendly electric cars, you can be assured that this entrance will be far from ordinary. Porsche, the esteemed German manufacturer with a rich history, made its foray into the realm of electric cars with its inaugural concept car, unveiled in 2015 and christened the Mission E. The concept car made its debut at the Frankfurt International Motor Show. The concept car embraced a stunning design that encapsulated the essence of Porsche's design philosophy, exuding the distinctive spirit inherent in Porsche cars. Indeed, the concept car not only embodied the spirit of Porsche in terms of design, but also encapsulated the driving essence that characterizes Porsche cars. This marks Porsche's distinctive approach as it ventures into the electric vehicle arena. The realization of this endeavor culminated in the commercial production of the first electric Porsche car, the Porsche Taycan. In comparison to other electric cars, how does the Taycan position itself? Typically, other electric car manufacturers, including Tesla and various automotive companies, prioritize concerns related to batteries and driving range. test drive episode, we have two cars, but our primary focus will be on this particular version. So what is the reason for featuring two cars? This is the Porsche Taycan Turbo version. Hold on for a moment. Yes, you heard correctly. This is the Taycan Turbo electric car version. But what does turbo signify in this context? Porsche adheres to a steadfast tradition of naming high performance car versions, Turbo and Turbo S. Consequently, the high performance variant of the Porsche electric car is labeled the Taycan Turbo, while a more potent performance version, the Turbo S, exists. It is not currently available, leaving the Taycan Turbo as the available version for now. We have two Turbo versions on hand. The white car featured today is fully equipped with all available options, while the blue version comes with slightly lower specifications. Nevertheless, both versions boast impressive specifications. In the center, there is a 10.9 inch screen that provides essential information to the driver, including navigation. The navigation system is noteworthy for its capability to search for desired charging points, adding a convenient feature for electric vehicle owners. Do you observe? By clicking on this location on the screen, it will display the locations of the charging points. Certainly, if we view the map in this manner and upon zooming out, watch closely. Do you notice those blue lines? They represent the range or distance the car can travel with the current amount of charge left in the car battery. Certainly, as the charge percentage decreases, this blue circle will gradually narrow, indicating the diminishing range based on the remaining battery charge. I can reach these destinations with the current charge, and it's worth noting that the car's range is limited to within the Emirates. When fully charged, it had the capability to reach Muscat. As the charge level diminishes, this blue area contracts, reflecting the decreasing range available for the car. A truly remarkable and high performance vehicle. So and almost surreal sensation while driving this car. It prompts you to ponder the direction we're heading and whether this could indeed be the future of automobiles. The car features two motors, one situated on the front axle equipped with a gearbox and a single speed transmission. The rear motor, on the other hand, incorporates a gearbox with two speeds, catering to various driving scenarios such as high speeds, top speed, normal driving, and efficient acceleration. The car utilizes a four-wheel drive system with the predominant power distribution concentrated at the rear axle in the Porsche Taycan. With the overboost, launch control, and sport chrono features engaged, the power unleashed by the car's batteries amounts to an impressive 
671 horsepower. Certainly, let's emphasize this remarkable figure, 671 horsepower. Without engaging overboost, sport chrono, and launch control, the car's power is reduced to 625 horsepower. Absolutely, whether it's at its full 671 horsepower or a slightly reduced 625 horsepower, the car remains exceptionally powerful. It can aptly be described as a rocket on wheels. The car's range varies from 381 kilometers to 450 kilometers under optimal conditions. While the car may not lead in terms of range, there are several other cars that surpass it in this aspect. Porsche's commendable aspect lies in offering a substantial range of up to 450 kilometers, albeit falling slightly short of some conventional cars that can cover distances between 500 and 600 kilometers on a full tank of fuel. Hence, the car's range of 450 kilometers is commendable within the realm of electric vehicles, even though there are other electric cars boasting a more extensive range. There are two car charging ports located on both the right and left sides for convenient charging access. The left side serves as the entry point for the regular charger. When charging at home with a standard charger, it requires a complete charging cycle starting from zero. It takes approximately nine hours to charge the car to 100% using a standard home charger. When utilizing an advanced DC, direct current charger with a 50 kilowatt capacity, it takes around 93 minutes to charge the car from five to 80%. However, with a more powerful 270 kilowatt charger, this time is significantly reduced to just 22 and a half minutes to charge the car from five to 80%. Indeed, it's truly remarkable 